morning, part two of custom molded copper gutters and period houses. So looking briefly at this house at a sort of level line, we can see elements of uh, Italianate architecture, but especially stick architecture down here. And our job, if we look up high, was to take that raking crown molding, which is the crown molding along the roof edge, very large, and connect it to a new custom molded copper gutter. And as you can see, we did one about three years ago, and we did the other half this summer, 2013. And we had to mimic what we had done three years ago, which we did on the right side. And now this year, 2013, we did it on the left side. Raking crown profile and the level profile match right to left. They also match as they once originally did. And note that it was originally made of wood. Why did we switch to copper? It's actually cheaper to uh, make a custom molded copper gutter that is seven inches wide and 14 inches high in the back uh, today out of copper than it is out of wood because we make that out, not out of fir but out of western red cedar and that's a very expensive blank. So the copper is actually easier to work with, will last longer or as long as the wood uh, depending upon situations but this is a hundred year gutter and we've gotten it to line up the wood to the metal, one being a uh, a solid and the other a hollow, but they line up perfectly with a ramp flashing that we'll show you in another video. Please call us if uh, we can help you with your project.